Hi guys, it's me again. Today, we're going to be making a new scratch project. In this scratch project, we're going to be having a unicorn or any other animal you like uh, who's going to be running. In the background, we'll be moving, the clouds will be transporting, and there will be trees, rocks, plants, anything you like to add. So, I'm going to show you a demo of how this project works. First, we're going to click on the green flag, and everything starts by itself. The unicorn is running. You see there are rocks, a tree, there are clouds, which are moving every time they touch the edge. So, I'm going to be showing you how you make this project. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, what we're going to do, we're going to go click and get a new project. To do that, you have to click on File and New. Or you can just go, uh, at, go to your desktop and click on the scratch icon. Now, we, we have our new project. And then now we're going to be deleting the sprite. To do that, we're going to be clicking on this trash can over here. Now, we're going to go and hover over this button, and we're going to click on this paintbrush to paint a sprite. And now, we're going to go, and we're going to go to Rectangle Tool. Yeah, we're going to click on Fill, and we're going to get a green color. I have my color, you can choose your uh, color. Um, so I got my blue color and we're going to be creating the rectangle. We're just gonna click we're just gonna make our rectangle and you see there's this outline, this black color outline. We don't really want it, do we? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on this outline, on this arrow, and then we're gonna click on this red line. And there's no more outline. Now we're going to go for the green color. We're going to click on fill and we're going to get our green color. If you can choose any color of your own, I have a, a color of my own um and you can choose oh, whatever color you like. And we're just going to create our ground and uh, you can adjust you can adjust everything um, i'm going to make the sky a bit more there we have everything we need now for the backdrop now i'm not sure but do you guys think that these this is a bit boring so what we're going to do we're going to make some rocks we're going to click on the circle tool, we're going to go to fill, and we're going to take a gray color, grayish. So, um, I have my color, my, mine is 0074, I mean color is 0, saturation is 0, and brightness is 75. So this is my color, and we're going to uh, create a circle. Make sure over here this outline is still crossed out. Uh, we're going to make the circle and now we're just going to click on this thingy and we're going to adjust it so it looks like a real rock. Uh, Okay, so I've made my rock, and now we can even uh, just copy it, and we can create another version of it, and just a smaller version, and a different color. Okay. And now, over here, we can just group these two. We can uh, select one, click, uh, press shift, and click on the other thing. And we're going to click on this group over here. 
and now it's now it acts as one object. So we can move it, and we can uh, change the size of both of them together uh, in one use, like one in one time. So now that we have the rocks, we should uh, get on with. We should uh, go to the other thing. Now we're going to make another of this backdrop. So what we're going to do, we're going to left click the sprite and we're going to duplicate it. Now we have it duplicated. But we're going to delete this thingy and we're going to add a tree. Now if you remember I showed you the demo, I used this tree. But you can't get that over here, can you? No. So I'll show you my trick. I go to a sprite. Uh, I gotta choose a sprite. I search tree. Then I go to costumes. I select all of it, and I press copy. Then I go and I paste it, and everything's here. And now it's part of this sprite. Um, I'm going to keep my tree over here. And that's my trick. Now we're going to delete this tree, of course. And uh, we have our background, backgrounds. Now let's go to choose a sprite. And we're going to search unicorn. If you don't want unicorn, if you're not a big fan of unicorns, you can also search bear. Bear. And then they have this bear walking too. So you can take this or the unicorn. Um, I think I'm going to take the bear this time. And I'm just going to place it over here. Now let's next go to choose a sprite and go for the cloud. Now we have the clouds over here. We're just going to, well, increase the size. We're going to change it to two, no, 200 would be too big. 150? Way too big. Maybe I'm just going to keep it this way. Um, 100. Maybe, yeah, I will change it to 120. That's enough. And then we're going to duplicate this again. If you want more clouds, you can. All you have to do is copy the script, but I'm just going to stick with two. I'm going to decrease the size over here, perhaps 100, uh, and uh, maybe 90. There. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to go and move on for the script. Now, let's go ahead and do the scripts. First, we're going to go to Events. Make sure you click on Sprite 1. We're going to go to Events. When Green Flag clicked, Looks, go to Front Layer, but instead of that, Back Layer. We're going to put that, and then we're going to go to Motion. No, I mean, yeah, we're going to go to Motion. Go to... X one 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 Y two. Instead of that, we're gonna write X zero Y zero. We're gonna put that over here. Then we're gonna go and take and we're gonna go to Control Forever Loop Motion Change X by negative five. And we're going to put that there, then we're going to go to control, if, then, loop, operators. If something is smaller than 50, instead of 50, we're going to write four, negative 460. We're going to go to, we're going to go to motion, go to, I mean, yeah, motion. We're going to go to x pages position and then uh, go to x 111 y2 instead of that we're going to write 
x 465 and y 0. I'm going to put that in the if then loop. And I'm going to put this over here under the change x by negative 5 block, but inside the forever loop. And then what we're going to do, we're going to copy the same script to sprite 2. Uh, I mean sprite 3. I mean three. Then we're, we're, we're just going to drag it onto the sprite 2 uh, sprite. And we're going to, and in the third block, go to x0, y0. We're going to change the go to x, and we're going to put it 465, y0. And then now that we have that done, what we're going to do, we're going to go to bear walking. And we're going to do the script for this guy. Maybe we'll do the cloud script first. Where'd it go? Oh. Well, we'll just bring it to front. Uh, if you want to bring, if you are also facing this problem, all you have to do is go to clouds, go to front layer, just double click on it, and then it'll work. It works on each one. Uh, for the for the bear two, go to front layer. There, it's back. You see it. It's in front of you. And now, what we're gonna do? Let's go for the scripts for the clouds. Now, the clouds go, script goes like this. First, make sure you're on the bigger cloud. And we're gonna go to events when green flag clicked. Motion, go to x, 70, y, 1, 2, 3, but instead of that, x will be 1, 1, 7, and y will be 98. We're going to go uh, put that over here, and we're going to go to forever, control, forever, looks, and motion, Change x by negative 5, put that over here, then not control, if then, then we're going to go to sensing, touching mouse pointer, instead of that we're going to put edge, put that over here, we're going to put that inside the forever loop, and then we're going to go to looks, next costume, Go to motion, go to X and E, Y one two three instead of that, we're gonna put 170 and Y will be 81. Now that we have that done, we're just gonna put this over here under next costume, and we're gonna copy this script to cloud to the smaller cloud. Just drag it there. And then we have a few changes. When uh, the first go to x, y, um, x will be 130, and y will be 142. Then the last go to x and y, uh, x will be 127, and y will be 135. Then we're going to go to bear walking. And what we're going to do for him, uh, the script goes like this. You have to go to events, when green flag clicked, go to control, forever, motion, uh, I mean looks, next costume, events, wait, I mean control, wait, one second instead of one zero point one seconds and believe it or not there are no motion blocks for the bear one last thing we're gonna take this go to front layer and we're gonna put it when green flag clicks we're gonna put that for the clouds too
when link my switch go to front layer. And then it works. Everything's working perfectly. Uh, so that's how you do this uh, project. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe our channel. Sh uh, comment in the comment section below. And be sure to share this video. Bye, guys.